today we're looking for signs of the times. At the American Sign Museum. Look at that guy. We are welcome. No, that's not a real guy. It's actually a painting. How awesome is that? That guy looks like he's really on that ladder. Oh, uh, this is gonna be good, I can tell. see so far. Look at this. I yeah, know. All these glorious signs, all the lights. And I've got one thing we can both appreciate. Today we're going to be covering a hundred years of signs from the late 1800s. Now this is what they call a sign wall. Three different styles of signs. This of course, the regular letters. And then they went into lights. Of course, look at these, look at this sign light. That, that is a sign. And then, of course, went into the neons. Oh, I wish these would come back. Oh, I love this. And then into the plastic signs. You didn't know there were so many signs of the times, did you? This is an example of the wire mesh sign. This is where they attached metal signs to a wire mesh. This went on for about um, 10 years. 1900 to 1910. You just don't realize there's this much history to signs. Wow, it's amazing. Do you ever wonder what happened to Ajax, cord, tires? Must have been some discord in the company. Look, an original Frisch's big boy. One thing I have never, never known is that in his back pocket, look at that, he's got a slingshot. The slingshot actually has a story to it, which I had never known. In fact, I didn't even know he had a slingshot in his back pocket. I didn't either. This is an example of what it looked like in the 60s. He had a slingshot and he had striped pants and he had red hair. To be politically correct, they took the slingshot and it's now just in his pocket. They changed his pants to a checker board and they changed his hair from red to black because they felt like that made him look more nice, I guess. Is that, is Not that, quite uh, as mischievous. Is they didn't that like... ginger discrimination? No, but I think it's mischievous. Ah. Just, yeah, whatever you said. Well, this is kind of sad about this sign. you think finding a relic like this somewhere would be a cool find, but look what somebody did. They were using it for target practice. These are baby holes. Yeah. Look more like pellets, but... Okay, I read a little bit more about the big boy. Uh -oh. So over the years, actually, I need to correct you. They took the slingshot completely out because they thought that it looked like it was really dangerous. But the funny thing about it is that over the years, and I've never noticed it, but they have slowly taken weight off the helm. As it got into like the health conscious years, you know, probably the 80s, and they said it didn't really set well with seeing him so heavy. Uh, so we've got a keto freshest big boy. What I really miss is how the signs used to make these noises. This one's kind of noisy, but so cool. Evidently, boot shop? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Oh, <laughs> you know, can't stop here. Not a good rest stop. The amount of signs in here, overwhelming, but so beautiful. This sign I find very uplifting for some reason. Don't know why. Have you ever heard of this? Changeable neon letters? These just plug in. But that is incredible. We could do that nowadays, couldn't we? We had the technology. Well, we had it back in the 50s. We could have it now. I remember when hamburgers were 15 cents at McDonald's. That was our Friday night thing when we were kids. Go to McDonald's. I really miss the fun signs. Like these. Always love me some animation. It always amazed me how they did this. More animation. I wonder what this was for. Looks like, I, I 
can't see what it spells. Fergie? No. Shades of the 30s and 40s. You can picture pulling up to gas pumps like this. Actual awning that they would have had. This is a literal walk through history if you guys haven't been here. This is part of where they work on them. You can see the ones hanging up on the wall that are not finished yet. You can also see um, McDonald's kind of on the window, but if you look really close, you can see way on that back wall, all the different neon kind of connectors. And this is the beacon to where they rehab the old signs. Coming soon to the museum. How many hours go into refurbishing some of these old classics? What's interesting too, is to see the tools that they used to create the designs for the signs back in the day. They're all stuffed into this little area above the double bubble sign. Look at all these inks, paints. What I thought it was interesting, I bet I never would have dreamed would come into play making these signs, is a need to know how to cartoon. Okay, this is cool. This has been several different incarnations. What's the story behind this one? Well, it was a press camera, and then it became a Kodak camera. It's changed over the years. It's the same sign, but they kind of changed it differently. But the interesting thing about it is that uh, the city that it was in, they decided the flashing lights was too much, so they had it turned off. The great story behind all of this is that this whole wall where this building was, there's so many lights on it, they're actually going to add the whole wall into the sign company eventually, which is going to be awesome. Cool. In the 20s, they were making signs out of copper. This is a copper sign from the 20s. Copper, really? Be expensive nowadays, wouldn't it? Wow. It's really hard to tell about this place. I, I feel like I'm just walking down a main street of store after store. I can't give you everything. This one is so amazing. Can't help but feeling like you're somewhere in Times Square in New York City with all this neon and all this brightness and all this beauty. It's fantastic. What's really neat is how they have these settings where this was an old bar at one time and a cafe, an appliance store at one time. You don't have to use much imagination when you come in here. It's fantastic. This is the iconic sign for Earl Scheib. When I was a kid, he could paint that car for $39.95. <laughs> I'm really dating myself, aren't I? Well, yeah, I don't think they taped off anything. I think they painted the tires too. I'm not sure. That, that was an awfully good price. Zenith, the quality goes in before the name goes on. I'm dating myself again, aren't I? Times I dreaded this sign when I was a kid, having to sit and let someone cut your hair. Interesting story about one time when I was a kid getting a haircut, the barber had false teeth. I was like three, I don't know. And he kept running his teeth out his, his top plate at me and, and I reached up and went, <sighs> and back then they were breakable. And he went scrambling for it. We stumbled into all the movie posters were. These are awesome all by themselves. Different kinds of signs, but just as awesome. Did you know they had live gunfights in Old Vegas? I didn't either. Okay, I don't know if they're talking about the second floor here or not, but uh, probably won't be going here. Sounds like an incredible adventure, doesn't it? Look at the price. <laughs> now you can tell that's an old sign. Others claim their product good hours does what you think it should. Parmache. Place is starting to get a little crowded. Might be a sign for us to go. And of course in the gift shop. All kinds of signs. And magnets and coffee cups and books. I'm I'm overwhelmed now.
Like in the puzzles. I Which do. one? I think I'm gonna get the. Well, it's the puzzle of the. Oh, look at that. That is screen. cool. Yeah. That would take you a while. I'm thinking we're gonna take one so, of these. Yeah, though. I think we did too. Gotta commemorate the day. If I can <laughs> figure it out. I can't seem to get it off here. Here we go. Okay, finally. Success. One last shot before I go. This is so cool. Okay, fantastic trip today, and we're gonna be back. You know why? Because we just found out it's 20,000 square feet inside, but coming soon, another 25,000 square feet of historic signs. Uh, can't wait. How about you? A little bated breath going on? Well, I, I wasn't really listening because you were walking on solid ice all the way through and I was afraid you were going to fall. Oh, well, and she's a wife too. So. Okay, but whatever you said, I, I agree with. Oh, oh. We will be back. Yeah. They said within a couple of years, they're going to have another. You said you didn't hear what I said. Oh, okay, I didn't. That's where we're going to wrap up this video for today. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a big thumbs up, all right? Don't forget, got to subscribe. It's totally free and really helps us out. And uh, we're going to offer a challenge eventually to get to... Uh, what 100 subscribers yes we're yes. still working on 100 so you we're can tell your close, friends though. we're close yes. not quite close enough so we need your help a little bit if you would share the links that would really help too yeah and don't forget when you subscribe click the notification bell so you'll know when we make a new video and you guys we can't tell you enough about this place you have got to come see this it is in Cincinnati <laughs> Ohio <laughs> It's just like, well, I know it's in Ohio. It's cold I just again. Know, it's We're cold. in the cold. We don't do well in the cold. We can't. The pictures, the video, nothing is showing. It's just, it's incredible. You've got to come. Yeah, for this, this is a real adventure for us. And don't forget, adventure is as close as the next off ramp. had a slingshot and he had striped pants and he had red hair. To be politically correct, they took the slingshot and it's now just in his pocket. They changed his pants to a checker board and they changed his hair from red to black because they felt like that made him look more nice, I guess. 425, 1232, does, does anybody really know what time it is? I thought this was a sign, but it's just a, <laughs> it's a ventilation duct, yeah, so, yeah. Really hard to tell here. I never dreamed we'd meet a celebrity at the American Sign Museum. It's a great day. Remember all those ashtrays your uncle used to rip off in the motels? Now this is where they wound up. Coming soon, another 25,000 square feet of historic signs. Uh, can't wait. How about you? A little bated breath going on? Well, I, I wasn't really listening because you were walking on solid ice all the way through and I was afraid you were going to fall. Oh, well, and she's a wife too. So. Okay, but whatever you said, I, I agree with. Oh, okay. We will be back. Yeah. They said within a couple of years they're going to have another. You said you didn't hear what I said. Oh, okay, I didn't.